Okay, so I want to talk a little bit more about um, the daily draw and the importance that that can have in your life as a mom because that has had a really big impact on my still being able to experience my spirituality. So it is just a few minutes while I have my cup of tea. Um, and I try to just, like I said, I try not to get into like an, I need to be intuitive. I need to practice my psychic skills. What's going to happen to me today? You know, what do I need to know for today? I try to just be as still as I can be and just be really aware and very present with the card and open up to any kind of communication that comes through any kind of being that's wanting to have a conversation with me in those moments. So sometimes I get messages that are difficult for me to hear. Um, the experience of being a mom and giving a birth has brought up a lot of past issues for me that I'm, I'm processing and working on healing through. So the cards have really helped me to do that. So sometimes it's not always something easy or reassuring. Sometimes it's letting me know. And I'll, I'll just share if you're, if you're familiar with tarot, you'll know that the Ten of Swords is a card that a lot of people don't want to get. And it's usually telling you that it's going to be a difficult time. Well, for my past full moon, um, Espit, the core moon, I drew the Ten of Swords. And the message that I got was not that, it wasn't something that was going to let me know things were going to get easier, it was going to be reassuring. It was instead that this was a dark time. And that, sorry, I just had to let go and let things end. And that was really, really powerful and very helpful for me. So I found that just by having those few moments to be really... Oh, sorry, hold on, Vincent's right over. So I found that that one card daily draw is really, really helpful and very effective for me as a new mom. Um, and it's really about just being still enough to listen and to hear the messages. And they're not always the, you know, uh, everything's going to be perfect and sunshine and way that we would li always like them to be. But I found that really, really clear lessons have come through by me just being able to relax for those few moments and let go, break the links from other people and other people's energy. And um, that's been really, really important. Another thing that's been really important to my spirituality as a mom, as a mom is watching how um, Vincent is exploring and experiencing life and growing every day. And that kind of helps you to realize what's not important in life and realize that you don't need to get caught up in everything. It's a choice to get caught up in these kind of dramas and things like that. And when you're aware of every moment, and every moment is a new and fresh experience, things become very simple and really beautiful. And so that's been a really powerful lesson for me. And it's actually really helped me as a healer with the people that choose to come and work with me to look at each moment and each experience as something that can be beautiful no matter what the experience is. And can be about just being present and being fully open to the experience so that we can learn from the experience and then we don't have to repeat it again if we don't want to. That's been a really powerful and beautiful thing that I am so thankful for and that Vincent has really brought into my life. I, I guess, you know, I, I was aware and had done a lot of reading about being completely aware in, in every moment and what a difference in our life that makes. But I hadn't really truly experienced it, and I hadn't really truly watched someone else experience that before Vincent. Just the beauty of every moment and the joy that comes from being open to every moment is a, a, a really, really amazing and very beautiful thing. And I'm so thankful to have seen that. So that's helped me to reevaluate my spirituality because now it isn't about um, devoting hours and hours of the week to it. It's really about a practice that is every single moment. And so in that way, it's become a lot freer and a lot easier and a lot simpler and just as effective because it can be those few moments with that card. It can be that walk outside to let to take the dog out. Um, where you're just in nature. It can be that walk down the road with your son. It can be all of those things. And in that moment, you're being just as spiritual as if you were able to read Christopher Penzak's latest book over a month process and study, 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 and meditate and really get focused on those kind of things. And a friend of mine who's also a healer recently told me that, you know, 
that has served me in the past, but it's time to let go of that. It's time to step into a new space where it's much easier. It doesn't have to be that difficult to be spiritual and focused. And so I would offer that to all of you new moms too, that the new ways that you find to embrace your spirituality and take the time out for that, um, and just be open to the fact that you're stepping into a new way of being spiritual that doesn't need to be as complicated as perhaps it was before your, ch your children were there or before you had your new baby, and now you have more than one child. So that's been a really powerful message for me. Um, now, And as I was saying about ritual, um, and I got a little sidetracked off that, I'm sorry, because I wanted to talk about the cards. So ritual for Sabbaths and Espits has actually really become about just taking a few moments out in nature for me. Um, and I posted a recent post on my blog about my last espit with the corn moon, which my boss had um, taken all of us girls out on a paddleboard excursion the night before the full moon. And so I really celebrated and observed my espit out there on the water, um, just being on the water, watching the moon rise, talking to Isis that way, and connecting and communicating with her in that way, in that little bit of time. And it wasn't so much about ceremony and opening up and all of those things. Instead, it was really about actually being in nature and feeling those um, that the beauty of those moments. So that has been the way that my ritual has really evolved as a mom is it's much more about being outside than it is inside inside my circle. Instead, the circle is outside and it is huge and it is everything that I come across while I'm outside in nature is my espit or my sabbat. And um, what was I going to say? Uh, spirit animals and animals in general have really opened up and become even more so than before really big guides for me and a really huge way for me to communicate with spirit and be open to receiving messages from spirit and so it's a much more open communication because it's it's out it's it's all around me that i'm open to getting those messages and so they're coming in really really clearly let's see what else did i want to say oh go on uh, talking about ritual too there was something else i wanted to add so I found candle work to be really, really helpful for spell work when that comes up. Um, I don't do spells often, and I really just choose when I'm doing spell work to be focusing my intention and in creating that way, and so that's been very powerful as well. I've also, because I've been a solitary witch for so long, have happily found some other women in my community who are also solitary witches. And... Um, it's been really fun to communicate with them and to share our experiences together. And I am so, so thankful for them and have learned so much from them. And I'm very, very excited to see where our journeys will take us together as witches as well. So that's been nice to kind of reaching out to community and experiencing that. And if you don't happen to stumble across some witches in your area or some pagans or some people who are spiritually minded in the same vein you are, then, you know, there's the YouTube community, there's there's community everywhere that you can find, whether that's virtually or just through communicating with spirit. So just be aware that you're not alone in trying to carve out a new way of being spiritual and that there is assistance and guidance for you along the path. And there was something else I wanted to add about ritual, but I had lost it now. I don't know, if I remember, I'll, I'll add it in the sidebar. But daily card draw is really important. My ritual work has been much more about being outside. I remember what it is now. Yay! Um, if I walk the medicine wheel, as a, I, and I always have as close to daily as I possibly can get. Um, and I walk the medicine path with my son now. Walk the medicine path. I walk the medicine wheel every day with my son now. And usually in the evening before he goes to sleep, we walk the medicine wheel together. And this is really, really powerful magic. Um, if you happen to be aligned with any kind of Native American spirituality or way of being, walking the medicine wheel is really, really beautiful. And it's a, it's a deep experience. Um, it's very similar to the way that we would create an open circle for ourselves when we're about to do ritual or when we're celebrating a Sabbath or an Espit um, and we're walking the circle and we're talking to the elements and opening up. It's the same thing. It's just a slightly different way of doing it. It's different energies that are honored but representing the same elements and the same experience, the human experience, imitating the God's experience on the wheel, 
all of that kind of thing. It's very close to that. It's just that for me, walking the medicine wheel is a much more powerful experience than just calling in the elements and creating the circle. Even though I do love that too, I'm not knocking that in any way. That's a really strong experience too. But the medicine wheel is something really beautiful. It's really easy for me to connect and to open up. And it's a really fun thing to do with your children if they, if they choose to share in that experience with you. So that is another thing that's made a huge difference for me in my spiritual path. And just taking those few moments to walk the medicine wheel is really, really cool. It's really, really beautiful. And um, if anyone's interested in seeing it, I'll be happy to share that um, with you all. But it might be something you're not interested in seeing, and it's not necessary to see. Um, I also wonder sometimes, too, like how much I want to share about that, that actual spiritual part of my life, like the intricacies of it. But I think the medicine wheel is something that's valuable for everyone to be able to walk and to learn and to follow. <laughs> Okay, hold on guys, I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I have a baby with a very full tummy, happy. Um, yeah, the medicine wheel has been really powerful. So it's really just been about being open to every moment and every experience and letting that be the spiritual journey on the spiritual part of your path. And I think there's something about the, about motherhood, especially those first months where there's like a complete breaking down of everything that you thought was important everything that you thought you believed um, and a breaking down of your view and your opinion and your feelings about yourself and your belief in what yourself and what you could do and then after that kind of breaking down of that and that doesn't have to be painful that can be a very beautiful seamless experience but there's that breaking down and then there's this kind of I've found over the last month and this month there's this kind of empowerment that happens and this awareness of just how much you can do and not in an egotistical way but just how much you can accomplish and how much you can do and also and I talked about this in my previous deck review videos too a lot um, what's not okay anymore because you only have so much energy so you're only going to divvy it out and give it to so many people and it's very it becomes easy to realize like okay what do I not want to devote my attention to and my energy to what's not going to serve anyone, especially my son in this situation. So that's been another part of walking the spiritual path as a new mom that's been really powerful. So I'm going to, this. I'm going to make a third video and that's going to be about storing of my tools as a new mother too because that's another thing that someone asked about and um, I want to make sure that I address that and I want to be able to give that enough attention. So I will see you in part three where we'll talk about the witch's tools and how to store them and everything like that. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.